the brickies are finished and um, we've done a load of extra brickwork as well around the top getting all the wall plates level and I've got a little job for my work experience. Is that alright Andy? Hello Mike, you alright? Yeah. Um, Jake? Yeah. Alright mate? Yeah you. Yeah you can finish sweeping up for a minute apart from this bottle. Where did that come from? Is that yours? Don't drink Lipton. Okay, well that'll find its way to the bin. It's got water in it, is it? Okay, well we'll find its way to the bin. Cool. Come on mate, I've got a job for you. Nice. So you know the brickies are finished and my mixer, since yeah. I've come back from being away, looks like it's had a little bit of abuse. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we need to clean it because generally after every day we like to clean it all really, really well. But it's cool. been left a couple of times and then a bit of muck sticks to it and a bit more sticks to that and a bit more sticks to that and you end up with this thing that grows, it just looks like a heap of sand in the end. So, this is what I'm talking about, it's covered, the blades are covered here, look, they're all caked up in stuff. It's got, I mean, what happens is if you carry on using it, it will just, you know, especially when it's warm, it dries out, a bit more sticks to it. So, you're going to have to clean it for me. Nice. All right, you have to do it quickly. This is, you know, something you can just really take your time and do. And we're going to do everything, we can do the legs, we're going to do the frame, we're going to do this bit. We basically want to try and get all of this snots. I mean, look at this bit down here. We'll have, before we start, using the mortar cleaner, right? What yeah. we're going to do is just literally try to knock off as much as we can. Don't go mad because it will scrape the paint off. We're just going to literally just go through it. Yeah? Cool. Do a little bit of that. And then what we're going to do is use this mortar cleaner. Now this is an acid, right? Yeah. So you don't want to get it on your hands or anything like that. And we've just got to follow the instructions. You can read it. You can ask me all about it, okay, but you just got to familiarise yourself with it. These gauntlets are going to protect your arms, yeah? Nice. We've got a mask, if you want to wear a mask, it gives off a little bit of fumes, but obviously outside, you should be all right, you should be all right okay? So you just don't, don't go right up to it and all the rest of it. And some eyewear as well, because you don't want to splash it in your eyes and spoil those good looks. You remind me a bit of a young Britcher Branson, sort of when he was about 60. 16, sorry mate, 16. Anyway, so... That's what you're going to do, all right? You're going to keep a fresh bucket of water nearby, cool. and that's going to be for your hands. You dip your gauntlets in and wash your gauntlets off, put them to one side. But you're going to dilute this down. Use this kettle, one part of that to five parts of water, okay? Use that brush to put it on, because it will, it will soak it up without dripping everywhere, unlike a brush like that, which is just going to just pour out of there. Yeah. And you're just going to gently put it on. You're going to leave it, yeah? Um, for a while, you can go everywhere with it, leave it for a while, and then you're going to hose it off. And you might have to go back over it again. And if we get some really stubborn bits, then we'll use it neat. But you're going to tell me first, and then we'll come and I'll do it with you that bit, just cool. to make sure it's not going to go everywhere. I don't want you to do anything, which is going to cause you any issues, mate, all right? Because you've had a good, hard week with me. You've done really well. You're a good lad. Thanks. It's been very fun. You'll make a fabulous ballerina. I'm joking. But well, you'll be good at whatever you do. Right. Okay, mate. So I'll leave that with you. Nice. Go Cheers. Yeah? Got the idea? Yeah. Cool. Alright mate. I'm going to go and see how Jake, our work experience boy, 
got on with my mixer. As you could see, it was in such a state after everyone's been using it. We've had Brickies using it, we've been using it, and it just got caked up and caked up. And I wasn't around when I was on holiday to make sure that it was cleaned well at the end of the day. So unfortunately, Jake, he got the short straw and he had to clean it all back. So let's go see how he's got on. Hey Jake. Alright. How are you getting on there? Good, just getting the last of the uh, little bits off. Just getting the last of the little bits off, eh? Oh, it looks a lot better, mate, doesn't it? Yeah. What do you think? You happy with it? Very happy with it. I didn't realise it was concrete under here. That was just a big Yeah, this sand. was just a bit of concrete that when we have the ready mix pour, we have always have a bit left over. So we popped it on here to stand the mixer on. Yeah. And it's easy to scrape it off. We'll get rid of it obviously. But cool. so I can see now that the welds are all clean again, look, you see? It's, <laughs> yeah. uh, it's not bad at all, mate, is it? It took a while to get the, the welds to just latch it on. Let's gone. have a little look around. Yeah, it's all right, mate. What have you learned? Anything? Uh, don't spray water in the back corner because it splashes all over you. Oh, yeah, well, that's, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. But what, about, what have you learned if you was ever a builder? Keep your stuff clean. Yeah, exactly. Keep your stuff clean. And moreover, keep other people's stuff clean, isn't it? <laughs> you know? Anyway, this is this is the next job. It's called tea cut, yeah? Yeah. So we're gonna now get the little thing out and make nice. it all Shiny. Yeah. I'm only kidding, you don't have to do that really. But it's looking really good, mate, isn't it? I really appreciate you helping us this week. Thank you for having me, it's been really fun. Yeah? yeah. You learnt much? Learnt lots. Have you? Very good at sweeping now. You are good at sweeping, <laughs> good at carrying bricks, good at mixing cement, good at cleaning cement mixers. Yeah. This is something which will stay with you forever. So you're That's only great. 16, aren't you? Yeah, 16. 17 in a few months. Yeah. In a few months. Well, I really appreciate you coming in to work with us this week it's and um, helping us and Ed and all the rest of them. So, um, yeah, it's been brilliant. Thanks, Thank mate. Thank you very much. It's one of them. Good lad. Cheers.